You know those kind of projects that you're fairly certain will take forever and definitely not be the easiest? In some capacity, almost every custom ends up being such. But what about a project with that started in mind? Something that would end up being a challenge for me to finish. Well, for that, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna take a look at my custom Engage Lady. A project that even now needs a little bit of work. For example, right now she's missing a resistor, which will allow her to run on Kato Track, which is 12 volts while the motor she runs on at the moment is 3 volts, resulting in the jumps and high speeds you see here, so expect updates on that pretty soon. Aesthetically, however, Lady is pretty much finished, so let's go ahead and jump into that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how I made the smallest custom I've ever made. So, starting off, the body design is done by Broke Train Enthusiast. Originally, he had made Lady for 00 scale, but scaled her down for me. She was printed by Green's Trains, who was kind enough to send me two shells in case something went wrong with the first, and thank god he did. But thankfully, sanding was very much a minimal with these two, and very quickly I had both primed. I repeated the priming process a couple times over to make sure the models were as smooth as they could be, and once that had dried, propped both up on toothpicks to spray paint purple. Specifically, to me is TS-37, a lavender color. The black and gold paint were all done by hand, and honestly done pretty quickly. But it was here I ran into one of my first issues. I was working on both shells side by side, and went to reprime the second one. I wasn't paying attention to where I was spraying, however, and actually got the, well, finished shell with the primer, which ended up giving it a tusty look. Instead of getting mad at it, I decided this would be a workshop lady, and since the hand paint on it wasn't the cleanest anyway, I would try a little harder with the second one, and that's the lady you guys saw at the beginning, and will continue to see moving forward. I did my best to give lady as much detail as I could, but being so small this was gonna be pretty hard. She doesn't feature lining or anything like that, nor do I think she needs to. In my opinion, she looks fine without it, plus I'm not sure they even make lining that's that small, so it works for me. At the moment, Lady only has one face, which is her shocked face, and this was designed by Rexecutions and hand-painted by me with a toothpick, which was a first and hopefully a last. But with that completed, the body shells were pretty much done. Now would come the very difficult part, which would be motorizing one of these two or what I thought would be the most difficult part. Some of you guys may remember quite a bit ago when I made a double O scale version of Lady, which essentially was an Ertl model that sat on a pug chassis. At least for me, in double O scale, this was too small to power. So instead of her ever going on her own, she was a free roller, and often pushed by other engines or pulled by them. Honestly, it didn't really look the best, and I was worried the Engage Lady would be similar. It literally is the tiniest shell I had ever worked on. I didn't think I'd be able to stick a motor or any sort of chassis into it, honestly. It was at this point, however, I remembered a chassis I had used a long time ago. That being the 2 Copal 040 Super Mini Size chassis. Which definitely lives up to its name, but like I said before, is only 3 volts, so it needs to be modified even more. But once I got my hands on a new one, it was pretty quickly installed into Lady. I painted the pistons on it the same purple as the body shell, and eventually would like to paint the wheels the same color, but haven't gotten around to doing it yet. The only downside to using this chassis besides the voltage was it meant I lost all of the cab detail, since Lady's entire bottom side had to be dremeled out to fit it, and the motor goes in right where that cab detail used to be. But truth be told, I'm really not that worried about it. The fact she's motorized means way more to me. Also, for fun and to kinda hide that, I added one of Reneas' packed tail lamps to the back of Lady. And once that and the chassis were fit, Lady was pretty much complete. I gave her a whistle from a Terrier locomotive that I cut down, and decided from this point forward I wouldn't do much else. For certain, I want to add a tiny Burnett stone in her cab, fix that resistor issue, but aesthetically, Lady is pretty much complete. Like I said, I don't plan on adding lining or anything like that. All I set out to do was make a tiny Lady model, the tiniest I could make. And honestly, I feel like I've done that. I even found a way to power her. So instead of tripping on the smaller details and making sure she has every little thing, instead, I'd rather just be proud at the model I've managed to make. Since, if you ask me, it's a million times better than the 00 scale one. But Lady Aside is also the smallest model I've ever managed to complete. Unfortunately, I can't get any proper running footage until that resistor is fitted onto her. So whenever that's complete, I'll make an update video showcasing her on the move. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is how I made the smallest lady model possibly in the world. And hopefully you guys enjoyed learning about it just as much as I enjoyed making it. Really quick, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons for making projects like this possible. 
and once again thank you guys for making it this far into the video. I can't apologize enough for not being able to have any running footage, but I promise you I'll have it as soon as I can. And it won't be the choppy mess which you've already seen. But like always guys, thanks again for watching. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like and subscribe for even more trained content, or dislike it if you dislike the video, it's really up to you. And with all of that being said, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.